Avram Avinu and Sarimenu are paradigms of chesed. We learn from them in the stories in Barashas what it means to give of oneself and to give of one's home. This is symbolic, Chazal say, by the way their house or their tent was structured. Their tent was open on all four sides. And the most famous, well-known story about Avraham and Sarah's infinite amount of chesed is the beginning of our Parsha, Parsha's Vayera. Avraham is waiting outside after his minor surgery, the bris milah at the end of the Parsha, at the end of the last week's Parsha. Avraham is actively waiting on day three, which is even harder than any other day. He's waiting for people to come so he could perform the mitzvah of, the, of Achnas Zorchim. Finally, Chazal say Hashem made it that three people had come, three angels came, they entered Avram's tent, and Avraham showers them, Sarah showers them with an unbelievable amount of food, a massive amount of food. Torah says he shechted an entire cow for his guests. They gave them loaves and loaves of bread, cakes, crackers, an abundance of food. And we learn from here how much we have to put our own needs aside for the sake of the needs of wayfarers and guests that enter our home. However, one Pusuk with this in mind is very striking. The Torah says, when it comes to water, and you would think of water of all things, they're traveling in the desert, the Torah clearly says, Yukach nam atmayim, Avram gives his guests a little bit of water. And how can that be? Everything else is in abundance. But why when it comes to water, specifically water, you would think they would need even more, Avraham would give a little bit more, not take back. And I think the answer to this question of how come Avraham held back on the water is alluded to in a Rashi. Rashi says, Yukach na ma'at mayim al yedei shliach. See, Avram was in the desert, and he wasn't the one that fetched his own water and walked miles and miles to get the water from the local well. He sent out his servants to do it. And from here, we learn that when it comes to doing chesed and doing acts of kindness for other people, that is wonderful and very special, and we all have to work hard to do that in a very meaningful way in our own lives. But it's never at the sake of others. Avraham was willing to give everything of his own possessions to his guests, except for water. Because water wasn't dependent upon him. He would have to ask somebody else, one of his other servants, to get the water. And we learn from Avraham, not only how much he gave and how much he opened up his home, but how sensitive he was, how great it is to do chesed, but never at the expense of others. We can do so much chesed, but if it's at the expense of our spouse's time, or our ch- spending time with our children, then is it really worth it? And Avram reminds us that we always have to keep that proper balance in mind in our own lives.